Hey everyone, welcome back to Built In Race. Today we're going to be working on spraying the engine bay in the Camaro. In the last video, we sprayed all the interior with the ceramic coating lizard skin, and now I've kind of taped off stuff there, the blanket in there, kind of protecting it. Uh, and then I want to start painting all the engine bay. So, actually, over the last about day and a half, I've really been going through and welding up any last little spots, grinding those smooth. Ended up adding a little bit of primer to the bay on any of the bare metal spots and just starting to kind of clean everything up and smooth everything out. There are a few little rough spots like in here that I need to hit. I definitely don't want to like glaze the whole bay and smooth everything perfect and add the weight back with the body filler because we're trying to keep it thin. That's why we got rid of all the undercoating. So you'll see all the spot welds when it's painted, but we are going to paint it the Arctic white to match. I think the plan is to stop right here with Arctic white and then have this be black. So the K members all pulled off. We're gonna make that black. It's kind of a hammer tone. And then all of the bars will match pretty much in black. I thought about, and I could always do this in white, but I need to keep these bare because I have the turbo mounts and everything coming that will get welded in here once I get the engine bay in and weld up any of their last mounts that we need to do for that. I went ahead and picked up one of these cheap little Amazon dispenser deals. I have the plastic, did a little test spot right here. But I'm going to go ahead and tape up along the body right here where it's glossy. I'm going to tape the edge up along the window. That'll be nice and easy. And then same on that side. So then the whole front end is nice and white. Most of this you won't see because it'll be under the fender, but that's okay. At least it all matches and is sealed. Looks like a fort. Either way, I got this kind of all taped up along there. It does not stick very well to the rubber that was there from the factory window seal. So I might take some of that and kind of tape it around. I did right here in the center. So that would leave a little spot unpainted, but it's up under the cowl, not a big deal, but it helps this from wanting to like float up like that type of a deal and spray back in there. Now I need to get the lift cleared off. I'm gonna take some of that stuff, lay it across the lift to protect it so I don't end up with a half white, half black lift. One more rub down with the scotch Bright pad, blow it off, maybe wipe it down a little bit, and then we should be good to spray this thing. So this is the rough part about building the car and trying to paint everything and make it nice. Not everything, but like the engine bay and stuff like that. Hit little spots like this that have like just a little thing there and there from where I picked off. This was the old bracket where it went up to the hood and stuff. It had little dents in there from where I was using the screwdriver to pry up on the metal. Saw it when I was printing it with primer. So I'd come back, put a little bit of filler in there and then sand it smooth and then so on and so forth. But otherwise, getting really close all the way, work my way over this side. This side's all scotch brighted. probably wipe everything down. And then in the car, you also have this weird pocket now because I cut all that. So I'm trying to scotch bright that, but then look how much stuff is in there. So got to blow all that out, I'll try to wipe it out, blow everything out a few times. I might actually wait until tomorrow to spray the car because it's actually going to be a lot warmer tomorrow. And then throughout the day, it can stay warm if I spray it real early. I can make sure it gets a good like six or seven hours of baking in before it cools down at night, compared to here, as soon as I turn the heater off or I'd leave, have to leave the heater running, it's still gonna get down to 30, so it'd be like 50 in the shop. So uh, tomorrow, you'd get the hottest part after I sprayed instead of cooler. Good morning, everybody. So back over to the shop. I worked for like another two hours after I turned the camera off last night, just going through and really just trying to work in little pieces and spots that were bugging me. And there's like a little pinhole up here that I re-welded and then had to reprime and re-sand and all that stuff i've gotten everything cleaned and wiped down this morning the shop is warming up i actually picked up one of these trusty little harbor freight purple guns i think this thing was like 30 bucks with the regulator they're like 15 without and trevor from motion Auto told me make sure you grab one of these little filters and then some connectors if i need them i was gonna go with a nice gun but trevor's like hey just use that one i used one for years and it worked perfect for what you're doing it'll be fine so that's what i got and then also picked up some of this from a local paint shop called dns here locally this is an omni mtk like 2k urethane this is a single stage of the factory white on this car. planning on spraying it with the exact same color i'm sure it'll be a little different but it'll be in the engine bay so i'm sure it'll be even be able to notice i think that's about it gonna get everything opened up i need to look it up figure out the mixtures and all that stuff and then hopefully we can get rolling so i got the gun all set up fitting filter got this dialed in on the compressor and then i'm actually gonna go ahead and run some acetone through it to clean it and then we should be good to start figuring out what our mixture is all right so i just did some youtube and figuring out what how to figure out four to one on one of these mixed cups this took me a little bit to find in town found it at an ace so if you go one four to one you just fill so the first one you go to the first one and then the next part one if you fill it to two then you fill the next part to two fill it to three fill the next part to three 
So that's how this works out. So I got my little Trevi's paint tip going on. I'm gonna try four to one. I'm just gonna go to the first one, I think, mix a little bit, do a little test spray, and then go from there. Maybe we'll go up to two, because I know I'll need it, so we'll go to two first. See how far that gets us. There's one. Maybe I will go with that for now. Mm, we'll go ahead and go two. There we go. Then we'll go with one part hardener. There we go. I didn't opt for the paint gun holder, so I guess this should work. <laughs> All right, so that filled the cup about halfway in the spray gun. I think that'll be a good place to start. Let's go ahead and make a test spray. it on there not go too crazy so i think we're gonna go ahead and start with the inside of right here all right guys here we go let's try this something in bay. We're going to try to get in and then work our way out. Without touching anything. Might be easier said than done. But hey, at least there's a bunch of room to work in. First coat down. I don't think it looks too bad. Not too bad at all. I've been talking to Trevor through Motion Auto. If you haven't checked out his channel, make sure you do Motion Auto TV. Uh, he does a lot of paint and body stuff, so I've been picking his brain the whole time, and I just talked to him this morning while he's eating breakfast. He's like, hey, as you're spraying, like, it's white, so it'll be okay for it to be transparent through some of the areas. So, like, through here, you can still definitely see some transparency to the gray underneath, but there's some spots that look pretty good. I got a little heavier in a couple, like, obviously, like, when you're spraying here, all these different angles and edges. This, I haven't sprayed that direction, so on coat two, I'll go that way, and otherwise, guys, I mean... It's a white engine bay, so I think that's looking pretty gosh dang decent. And I can't wait to put an engine in here, but we need to get past this first. This side's pretty good. As you can see, some transparency through here and up there. But just trying to go light. Probably looking at like three coats to cover this thing. It's always easy to add more. It's hard to take it away if you get a run. So I'm going to let this kind of tack up a little bit, about 10 to 15 minutes. I'll look and see how much I got and then do another coat. Been about 15 minutes. Aired out the shop a little bit to put keeping some warmth in it. Got some windows cracked. And I got still some paint in here, so let's go ahead and spray this out for number two. Probably have to mix up some more for round three. So I called up Trevi's Customs, and he's going to run over here. He's saying, like, he thinks I should lay it a little bit wetter to get it, like, kind of the texture that I'm, I guess, what you'd hope for. Um, especially at the one stage, so then when it dries, it dries really nice and glossy. It's kind of wet in spots, but he's thinking it should be a little bit wetter. He's actually going to run over here real quick and help me lay the last little bit. I'm going to mix up a little bit more. And then we'll spray one more round of this thing and then call it a day. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing? Oh, look. I needed one of those. <laughs> did, did you have a mask at all? Uh, no. A little dry? A little dry. Not bad? It's not bad, though. I mean, it's white. For winging it. So that's good. With some Trevi advice. Are you painting the whole front or no? No, I still got to weld turbo mounts and everything, so later. 
So that might become black. I don't know. I kind of like the tube, all the tubes in the car being black and then the, yeah, the body white. You just mask off too, just mask it right there. And yep. Just... Nice. Easy, easy. I'm making progress, but you're going to help me lay a final yeah, thing here? But... So I was going four to one, not four to one to one, which I didn't understand which the one to one to mm -hmm. that extra one was, but we have a little reduced yeah, so we're going to throw in there. When you're doing it, so four to one to one, so you go, the first one is four, so you go one, and then you go one and one. So you one. just stay in the same thing. So I just missed the last one. I yeah. never threw some reducer in there. Yeah. So that's probably why it's a little dry. And you can see, see how it's kind of like, like a stream off of there? Mm -hmm. You almost want it to kind of, you know, just be a little bit. A little, little thinner? A little thinner than that. Now it's wet enough, Trevor? Yeah, looks a lot better. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you, you jumping over. You were really close. I was just going soft. I didn't want to mess it up, so. I mean, that's, it's better to, sometimes it's better to do that than Not enough it. than too much, right? Because it's, it's easy to add, add more. <laughs> you can add more, you can't it's take it away. Yeah. <laughs> right on. No, I think, it, I think this is gonna work now. Yeah. I mean, it's white. You know, I, I don't know if you really painted like a whole car or anything like Not that. Yeah. But an engine bay is tough because you don't really have you know, like if you're painting a fender, you could look at the fender and you start with that wet edge and you could be consistent the yeah. whole time and watch it flow, you know, and kind of melt out. This, it's hard because there's so many angles and cre you know, crevices and then you're yeah, like looking hard. at it to see if you got <laughs> yeah. full coverage, if you got it to Yeah, then you're down right. here, back here, really hard to get so. to. But no, I think uh, I just was too too light. I just wasn't wet enough, yeah. but watching you helped and now, now I get it. Yeah, now the, the gun's set up a little bit more and... Uh, I think a, a practice fender would do you good. Give me a practice fender? A practice fender. You'll be good. Nice. You're ready to go. I got a whole Jag outside one day I'll practice on. Sand it down. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yep. All right, guys. So, bay is all finished up, I think. Like I said, I'll paint those bars later on. Kind of pulled some of the tape back. Everything's looking pretty gosh dang good. Everything's looking nice and wet and solid. Uh, definitely a little bit better after Trevor came over and helped spray that stuff. So... A uh, huge shout out to him. Again, if you don't know his channel, it's Motion Auto TV on YouTube. And uh, I think I'm going to leave for the day, take a little bit of a break, let this all set up and cure. So if you guys want to see the engine go on this thing here soon, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time.